in this video we will discuss the fulkerson's rule for numbering the events first rule is event number should be unique which means same number should not be given for the different events in the below network diagram we have to observe that different events are having the different numbers second rule is event numbering should be carried out on a sequential basis from left to right and one more thing head of an arrow should always bear a number higher than the one assigned to the tail of the arrow which means head event always should be a higher number than the tail event in the respected activity third rule is initial event which has all outgoing arrows with no incoming arrow is numbered as 1 so always we have to give the number 1 for the starting event next rule is delete all the arrows emerging from all the numbered events this will create at least one new start event out of the preceding events after enter the event numbers remove the arrows for the correspondent event and the next events are the new start events and rule number 5 is the number all new start events 2 3 and so on then repeat this process until terminal event without any successor activity is reached let's see the example how to give the numbers for events of the given network diagram the initial event is numbered as 1 so here this is the initial event here i have to give the 1 next i have to delete the arrows for the event 1 so these are the new start events then i have to give the numbers for the this new start events and also i have to give the numbering in the sequential manner from left to right so here it is the 1 next i have to give the 2 and 3 so this is the 2 and the 3 so next we have to remove the arrows for the event 2 as well as the event 3 so next i have to give the numbers for the new start events so these are the new start events so you have to give in the sequential manner so first here i have to give the 4 and 5 next i have to remove the arrows for the event 4 and 5 so next here we have to give the number 6 here also have to remove the arrows for the event 6 next here i have to give the number 7 similarly here also have to remove the arrow so next to last one so end event i have to give the number 8 and here i have to check once again head of an arrow should always bear a number higher than the one assigned to the tail of the event here we have to once again cross check head event always should be a higher number than the tail event in the respected activities thank you